I'm sitting here in front of something. Uh, I have two new hats, and I was told recently that I need to get back into using my green screen. So, I'm sitting in front of my green screen, but I have something going in the background, and I don't exactly know what it is, because I'm just recording it at the moment. Uh, but I just wanted to um, at least use good green screen technique. I've been uh, recently watching some TikTok videos of hats, hat people on TikTok, and uh, the green screen is cringe. So I want to use a uh, real green screen technology and uh, use that. So I have two hats here. But I will say that the images and the video, the footage behind me, will have some relation to what is in these hat boxes here. One, one hat I actually got as a fitted hat because no one wanted it, because no one thought it would be cool enough. But I knew it had potential. I knew it was cool. And then the other is to express my rebellion against the fitted game of collecting. So, yes, right behind me. That's what my anger kind of feels like when I miss a hat club hat drop. But also, it also relates to what's in this box anyways. So, let's go back to the office and open these up. So, get out a notebook and pencil, because class is in session. Let's go. Brought to you by the Hat University Bookstore, where you can get these epic mugs, where you have the Professor Hatter logo on one side, and then on the other side is the Professor Hatter insignia, one of the insignias, and has the word marking, the slogan of our university, Hat Diversity. So thank you to the Hat University Bookstore for making this video ad-free. Alright, let's start with the cool hat, the one from Macy's. They had a special 18.99 sale going on for these hats. I was looking around, they had a lot of college hats. There were some that were good, and then there were some that were like, you know, I don't know why, but not this time. Maybe another time. And there were some others where it's like, you know, I need that state, because they're the West Virginia hats for $19, and I figured, hey, I need a West Virginia hat, but I know that they have a minor league team that has a cooler logo, so I'm going to wait for that one. But this one, I figured I have two hats of these already, but one fits, but I don't really wear a lot, and the other one is a 50 and 50 fitted, but it doesn't fit so well. So I figured that would be the perfect time to get one of my favorite college colleges, or really for football, in a proper hat style. Alright, straight from Macy's, on the deal of the day, $18.99, we have the University of Hawaii Warriors, at one point they're called Rainbow Warriors, the Warriors, in a 47 brand cleanup dad hat. Kids, this is what Epic looks like. This is what... It's a good color. I mean, I usually am a stickler about how, like, oh, I don't want a hat that has a logo that blends into the hat color. I like to have it have a contrast to it. But I'm very hypocritical on that. I have plenty of Utah Jazz hats that have a navy on navy uh, color palette design. Uh, for me, I got into the University of Hawaii after playing my PS3 back in the day and played one of the greatest games ever, not just in PlayStation history, but probably, probably video game sports history. EA Sports NCAA Football 14. The last of its kind. Well, 
they're probably going to be making a new one in 2022 or 23. But, as of now, it's the last iteration. I haven't played it myself in years because my PlayStation is dead. It's stuck in the PlayStation Network store, and I, I bought it. I remember I bought it. The two modes that I played a lot was the My Player mode, Road to Glory, uh, the running back at Illinois University, University of, University of Illinois Fighting Illini, Go Illini, and I broke Barry Sanders' college career running, rushing record. It was, it was epic. And I'm pretty sure I was close to the touchdown record. The other mode I really enjoyed was the uh, Dynasty mode, where you were a coach, and you start as you want to start as a offensive or defensive coordinator or a head coach at any school. I liked to move up the chain, so I started as an offensive coordinator, and then start at like a small school, and then would move up to a head coach job of a small school as well, like a power five, and then you know have that segue into a power five coaching job. And there was one iteration I did, I was the offensive coordinator for the University of Buffalo in the MAC. Then I got a coaching job with a coaching carousel, a lot of fun to see which jobs are available, who's taking what job, um, more interactive like it is you see on TV. And I took the head coaching job at Hawaii, because it's different, it's green, why not? So I was the head coach of the University of Hawaii Rainbow Warriors from in the game from 2017 until 2033 when I last played the game. I made a dynasty. We, I mean, we're still on the BCS ranking system, which was stupid. It was a year. The game came out a year before the playoffs, so it would have been nice if the playoff system was integrated. Anyways, I took the Rainbow Warriors. I took Hawaii to three straight BCS championship national games. Uh, we won two of three, not back to back, but two of three. And then uh, the one game that we lost was to TCU. But in the two games that we did win was against Ohio State. The fucking Ohio State University felt really good. So, at the time, originally I had gotten this top of the world Hawaii hat. This one is, I would define this as an adjustable hat. That it has a structured crown and an adjustable back, whereas this would be a dad hat, where the crown is crushable. Well, once I take out the protective thing in there, it's crushable, and it's a strap back, so dad hat has snaps in the back, but not a snap back. And then the other one, my first assist from the FHS Facebook group was this University of Hawaii 5950 fitted hat. Problem is, it's seven and a half, but it fits, if it's tight. So I've tried to stretch it out before, and I never really had a lot of success with it. It's a wool hat. It's, it's great, though. It's a different shade of green. Like, this is more of a emerald, and this is more of like a forest green. So I'm sure you can tell on the camera there. Uh, but both hats, I like. I just wanted this, yeah, fits well. I just wanted a Hawaii hat. I needed a dad hat because I can't get fitted hats anymore because the fitted game is just, a, uh, I can't get shit anymore. Usually, I can't get shit anymore. There's a fitted hat here, though. I'm not totally hypocritical. It just looks like it. So, Carminded is a hat retailer I've been getting a little bit into more. They I originally saw them because they had... 50 NHL hats, but the ones that they have left don't fit me. Like, size 7 or 7 and 1 ace, and those are impossible to stretch and just even make work. So, they have done a lot more since, and I bought a few other hats before. Two were color underbrim side patch MLB hats, an Orioles with a orange underbrim, twins with an icy blue underbrim. And recently, it was about early July, that Crown Minded did their own hockey face-off collection. Because Sports World did it, then Hat Club did it, because everyone was doing it. You had Sports World doing it, you had Hat Club doing it, 
Uh, the Hat University of Bookstore did it. I made a video. I made my own kind of collection, and uh, I think mine was way better than all these other chumps because I used Winter Classic and Satum series side patches. Uh, they, they were cooler. But with these crown minded face off collection hats, I got one, the Mariners one, Seattle Kraken colors, and I think that they did a better job than Hat Club did. I don't remember what Sports World looked like, but when I say crown minded, did a really good job. And it, especially with the red button, uh, I like the colors better. And in here, I knew when I saw the round two of the Faith Off Collection, part two, I knew that this hat was, was not going to go fast because of one aspect that was that was lacking. So, let's get into it. And I did make a video, if you've been watching me, if you've been watching the channel, and keeping up with your classes and getting your particip participation points and having your A+, plus, uh, you would have seen that I already did a video on this getting the hat because it's been so hard to get fitted hats recently because they're just not making a lot of hats anymore. Um, like, so this one I knew I was going to get, I, I was a little worried, if you saw in the video, I was a little worried I wasn't going to get it, but I got it. Alright. It was a little bit of a hassle to get this one, a little short story of getting this, this Mariners one. I was at work, it was on a Friday, because they release their hats on Fridays at 6 o'clock Pacific, Standard Time, PM, 8 o'clock for me. 8 o'clock is when we close at uh, the store I work at, at Best Buy. And I was on a ladder looking for a laptop, and I'm looking around, and I'm on my iPad, trying to get the hat, like waiting, and the one coworker like, did you find it? I'm like, no, not yet. I'm, like trying to race to get the seven and a half size of this one. Couldn't get it, it was sold out, and luckily I got the seven and five ace. Uh, this one fits well, I, I like the fit. But this one I got in seven and a half. Uh, thank you for your purchase, thank you for your purchase and supporting our small business. I will keep going to Crown Minded. Uh, I need to get there more often because I do have an Atlanta Brace hat I need to get. They have a sticker. And they have in a bag the Chicago Cubs face off collection round two. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Alright, so let me show you. I have the Sports World one. I couldn't get the Hat Club one because, you know. The Hat Club website is trash, and the inventory is just bad. And at the time, they had people with hat privilege and their invoice skiing, so it was a little bit harder to get. But I did get the Sports World one, at least. And comparing these two right off the bat, um, so one main reason that this hat did not go as fast, it does not have a side patch. Which was an interesting concept, that it's a hype now, that you have a color underbrim with a side patch, and they all complement each other in some aspect. I mean, I have a dad hat, I have a pink lemonade dad hat with a pink underbrim and pink side patch. So, they're kind of popular now. It's a huge decision making in a hat collector's buying experience, that they look at well, what's the uh, what's the color overall? What's the what's the side patch? Is it a tonal new air flag? Really, I wish I wish that they would kind of stop with the tonal flags. I mean, if it's a replica kind of hat, yes, keep it tonal. But if it's a hat like this where it's supposed to be different and colorful, make this make this yellow or green. Same thing with here. It's it's boring. It's it's becoming boring to have a tonal flag now. Um, I get it before in the past, some of the hats that look like on fields, keeping it tonal, great. But if it's like a pink lemonade hat, or a cotton candy, or watermelon, or anything else like that, give it a tonal flag. Give it some creativity. Um, for me, this also has a blue underbrim, the icy blue, and... No two icy blues are alike. Cause I don't know, 
Let me take off the stickers here first. So, I don't know how well, to me, I can notice it. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up. I'm going to try to do my best with uh, color grading in post-production. These are different blues. Uh, this one seems to be lighter. This one seems to be more blue, or more saturated at least. Uh, very, very different for sure. Uh, I had noted in my original video when buying the hat, it would have been nice if there was some green incorporated into this hat, because if you look at a Blackhawk logo, if you look at the Blackhawk logo, you see it, you have that green and the feather, you have all these feathers on the head. Green is one of the more prominent colors that they use. Not really so much the yellow or the blue or even the orange, but like in this, in this one, I'll show a picture of the Hat Club one. Sports World and Hat Club used green fairly well, and Sports World actually did another Cubs hat earlier, which wasn't as impressive, to be honest, because the side patch I, I'm just not the biggest fan of. They also incorporated green. So it would have been nice if there would have been some green into the crown-minded hat. Correction. More noticeable green, because the Batman has some green inside of it. It's cool, but it would be nice if, like, the C was outlined in green, or if the button was green. That would have been cool. So I, I'm going to try to find a way to, like, make, like, a little elastic thing, or, like, like, a little cover for the button to make it green, to have some more color uh, intrigue to it. So, let me try it on. It fits tight. Which is okay, because then that way I can at least stretch it out. Because this one, as a 75 Ace, this one fits well. I don't know if perfect is the right word, but it fits well. And maybe, and maybe, maybe because my hair is growing out and it's getting, my head's big because of the humidity, maybe. I don't know, with the science. I know I did like a hat sizing video, um, but I still don't understand fully the science of changing head sizes. This one fits well, close to the perfect level, because if I was to bend the brim to curve it out, uh, it would it'd stretch out a little bit, so it would be maybe a little on the looser side, that even when I cut my hair, probably be more loose than fitting well. But this one, it's better, to, like I said in the past hat sizing video, it's better to have a smaller size, because in that way you can at least stretch it out than having to find a way to shrink it, because shrinking hats is more difficult compared to stretching the hats. So for sure this one will get a brim bend, and we'll stretch it out a bit. I'm not as good at bending the brim as all the other people out there. I mean, I'm lazy, and I get my brims pre-bent with my dad hats, so... Maybe I'm just lazy when it comes to uh, curved brims, but hey, it's perfect. It's a it's a perfect curve, so y'all are missing out for sure with the comfort and the material and the delight of the fit that you can adjust a dad hat and how great they look. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. It's getting really tough to get fit hats now. So I'm, I need to revert and build up my hat diversity and get a lot more dad hats because they're so cool. They fit so well. I mean, does it fit tight? Maybe, but I can adjust it. So let me know in the comments down below if you got any crown-minded hats from either this face-off round two collection or the first face-off collection. Let me know in the comments down below also if they do another one what other teams would you like to see? I like to see uh, Islanders and Mets and Avs and Rockies, even though I hate the Mets. The Islanders would be a good color choice, though. So there are plenty of other teams out there, I think, that they can do. Comparative to the Crown Minded, Sports World Part 2, Sports World Part 1, and the Hat Club crossover Cubs-Blackhawks hat, which one looked the best? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.
Make sure you skip that like button. Just don't even go to like or the dislike button. I mean, there is a subscribe button because we need more students in the class. But go straight to the comment section and leave me a comment because I love student interaction more than the likes because the likes don't mean shit. Let me know your thoughts down below. And also, did you play NCAA Football 14 on PlayStation or Xbox when I was around? I will see you all the next time in class. As always, hats off to you for watching. Have a good day, everyone. Class is dismissed. Bye, everyone.